Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, I don't have my hello, headset teacher. here. Give me a second. I will go to pick my headset. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, compañeros. Hey, good evening, compa. Estamos, estamos. Okay, I'm ready now. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. How are you today, people? Good. Good. Fine. Did you miss me yesterday? Yes, teacher. I miss you. <laughs> okay. I miss you too. But I had a medical emergency with my family and you know hospitals are crazy. But everything is okay now. At least better. Okay, well, let's get it started with the first attendance of the evening. Here it is. Alex Gerardo Peña. Alex Gerardo. Here. Ana Celia Mena. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Thanks. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Good, welcome. Byron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Perfect. Blanca, the personal session is with you tonight. Okay. So prepare your questions. Edgar Eduardo Garcia. Present teacher. Very good, welcome. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Glenda. Iván Alberto Castillo. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Hey, welcome. Miguel Angel Romero. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good, welcome. Rafael Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Rodrigo Enrique Hernandez. Present. Perfect, welcome. And Sandra Yanira Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay. And teacher, good night. Uh, uh, Alex Gerardo Peña, present. Ah, okay, Alex. Uh, give me a sec. 
drag your antenna. Wrong. Give me a moment because I want to check. I I didn't check today the the platform, the homework. Is it? Did you finish the homework, people? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it's sure. Okay, some of you. Give me a second. How many are still pending? Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are still okay. So turn off your microphone. There you go. Excuse. Okay. Eh, ya se me olvidó cuántos eran. Fifteen. No. Oh. Siete, dijo. Seven. Seven still pending. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Tengo los que ya terminaron. Ana María, Andrea, Blanca, Edgar, Johnny. Margarita, Miguel, Oscar, Rafael. Solo ellos tengo yo que ya terminaron. Ya, ¿dónde más? Necesito que me terminen eso, please. Good night. Good night. Unit one. Ok. Perfect. Well, tonight we are going to start with session section two. Section two, section two. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, um, tonight you are, you are going to talk about your, uh, the reputation of your company, yeah? That is the last activity we did on when? Monday. The reputation of your company. I asked you to write sentences like this about the reputation of your company, remember? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, so to start, I will send you to small groups and I want you to talk in the groups about the reputation of your company. Okay, first in your groups, discuss, express your sentences, talk about your company. 
is your company known for, etc. Okay. Then after that, we will come back and you are going to speak to the class about your company. So let's Okay. Okay, please go to your groups. In your groups, discuss about your company, the reputation of your company. And see you in 10 minutes. Okay, to do the same with the whole class.
our company use. Entonces sería... Puede poner, eh, our company is known as, y pone, usar, no sé qué, lo de la energía. It's no innovation. Son producidos. Uh -huh. Teacher. Ah. Huh? Eh, le, estaba, le estaba diciendo a la compañera aquí que no sé si le aplican esas oraciones que tiene. Porque está en la, bueno, la segunda ahí, como lo está viendo, está ocupando is cable. ¿Estará bien o habría que cambiarlo? Hay que cambiarlo. Y la otra también, ¿verdad? La tres, la has improved. Yes. ¿Verdad? Yes. Es, 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 prácticamente la, la... ¿Cómo se llama? La, la oración está conformada del primero, la compañía, el verbo to be, el verbo en, en pasado y mm -hmm. el complemento, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, pues sí. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Oh. Ahí sería had. Had. Ah. El, el, el pasado de had, ajá. Sí, pero no, no es solo cambiar así, o sea, ahí no tiene sentido esa frase así. Mm. Vea, arriba tiene usted los, las frases que puede utilizar. Suba, por favor, ahí. En... Más, 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 más. Bueno, las mismas que se han usado acá en estos verbos son los que debe de usar. Estos más arriba. Entonces, teacher, eh, solamente... Los del ejercicio los... puede usar. O entonces, solamente con esos verbos se puede hacer o podríamos utilizar más verbos. Pueden usar más. Ah. Pero para facilitarle, ¿verdad? Los más comunes o los más usuales, por decirlo así. Sí. Ok. Hello, are you ready? Five minutes more. Okay. Digamos, si hablo de avícola mejilla. Mm. Es right o oh, are right. Ten, puede puede, ten, puede right. decir que ahí que... sería como is, is, is right porque Ajá. le está diciendo que is. es la avícola. Mm -hmm. Is right. No las ha subido. No las ha subido todavía. No las ha hecho. Yo solo hice el homework bueno. uno. Que eran no, cinco tenés que hacer las cinco. Eso son no cinco, sabe. eso te va a evaluar las cinco y que no son las cinco al final de la unidad no, no, no no vaya por ejemplo en esta semana ya deberíamos de estar trabajando lo que hemos visto en la, en la, en la de esta semana en la, en la dos uh -huh. ah no, 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 te miento te miento, porque a iniciar la unidad dos vamos ¿verdad? sí vaya Entonces, con, el, no. con este clase de ahora
Okay, welcome back. Well, I like to hear um, at least two sentences about your company. Okay, let's start with only two sentences about your company. All right, so volunteer to start. Me. Okay, Edgar. Prisma Group is recognized as the efficient company. Prisma Group is known as leadership company at the national level. Excellent, very good. Hey, my camera, what happened with my camera? Here I am. Perfect, very good, Edgar. Okay, Marcela. Asesores de Salud is recognized as the company that distributes nutritional products. And the second is Asesores de Salud uh, are recognized for advising doctor nutritional. Okay, perfect, very good. Thank you. Uh, Blanca, Isabel. Microphone, Blanca. Excuse me. Okay. Number number one, my company are are produce the fresh chicken meat in El Salvador. My company is now a very good growth. Okay. I understand. Okay, um, the first, no, the second, my company is known. Repeat, re repeat again, the, the first sentence. The first or second? The first. The first, my company are produced the freshest chicken meat in, in El Salvador. Okay. My company are produced. Produced uh -huh. the fresh chicken meat in El Salvador. Ahora, ahí me está diciendo. Usted lo que me quiere decir es que su compañía produce el pollo más fresco. Sí. En El Salvador. Mi carne más fresca, ajá, de pollo en El Salvador. Ok. Ahora. Estamos en esta forma que estamos usando, la frase tiene que ser, mi compañía es reconocida o mi compañía es considerada como eh, la que produce la carne más fresca y de pollo en el Salvador. Ok, entonces debería de ser, my company is recognized. Is recognized. Okay. As a company that produces precious chicken meat in El Salvo. Mi compañía reconocida como la que produce la carne de pollo más fresca. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Good. Sandra. El Pericón is considered the best place for relax and rest to Mora San. Okay. El Pericón is now is excellent service the restaurant. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Fine, people. Tell me about your company. Okay, Fernando. Boy, teacher, boy, boy, boy. Uh, first is our customer are perceived the quality in our products. 
And second is uh, Vicola Mejia is considered one of the best in quality. Okay. I have a problem with the first one. Read the first one again, please. Okay. Our customers are perceived the quality in our products. Está diciendo es, nuestros clientes son percibidos. Mm, perciben, es verdad. Perciben, perciben. Sí, pero ya no es la forma que estamos estudiando. Mm. ¿Ah? Coco, ya me perdí. <risa> Acuérdense que aquí el énfasis es acción. Y estamos usando la passive voice. Es la compañía es conocida tal cosa. La compañía es considerada. Conocida. En ese caso pudiera, pudiera decir la compañía es considerada por los clientes como de buena calidad. Mm. Por ahí ah, pues, puede le, ser la redacción de la frase. Le voy a decir la tercera, mejor en, 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 en reposición. Ok. The company is rated as one of the five. Ok. As one of the five. Ahí, ahí te has quedado corto. Mi compañía es, es In El Salvador. clasificada. Una de las cinco. Una de las cinco. Uh, uh, cinco companies en Salvador. Una de las cinco compañías en El Salvador. Ah, no, sería eh, The Companies Best ah, en El Salvador. Five, one of the yeah. five best companies en El Salvador. Yes. Yeah. Y por ahí va. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Byron. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first is uh, Iron Man is, uh, is known as a major MRO of the service technician on maintenance aircraft. MRO. MRO. Uh, uh, um, maintenance. Repair organization okay. of the service technicians on maintenance aircraft. Okay. The second is the Kyocera AVX is recognized as a friendly environment company. Okay. Good. Only two. Yeah, only two right now. What's this okay, okay, okay. okay. Honey. Okay, teacher. Uh, the as the oros are no. The as the oro is known as brand of exportation, product of best basic grains. Okay. And number two, uh, the as the oro is considered the best manufacturer of beans grains. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. Our company is considered friendly to the environment. Okay. Uh, number two, our company now for producing using renewable solar energy. Okay. Our company is no. Our company no. Is no for producing. Is no. Is is no. Is is conocido. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Okay. Next. Two sentences. Only two. Only two. Let's see what's missing. One. Two. Okay, Andrea. Uh, Asesores de Salud is considered an excellent company. 
an asesor de salud is recognized for a quality product. Okay. Good. Thank you. Rafael. Uh, Cadiza is now as an excellent seller for off motorcycle. Honda is recognized as the one of the best quality of motorcycles. Okay. Good. Very good. Alguien más? Ah, okay, Alex. CMC is recognized is recognized as the agency with the largest presence in Central America. CMC is known as the leading shipping agency in Nicaragua. Okay, very good, very good. Perfect. Ver, alguien más? One, two, hey, ¿quién dijo miedo, pues? Jocelyn, adelante. Okay, uh, the Losa Foods is recognized for its quality products and or exportation products are rated as the best in the industry in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Good. One. Miguel. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, Cadiza is recon recognized for selling warranty products. Uh, Cadiza is requested for being reliable and economical. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, let's check um, just the pronunciation of these expressions. Okay, let's use in the sentence. Just the pronunciation of these verbs, okay? Our company is considered, is considered. Our products are rated, are rated. Our customer service agents are perceived, are perceived. The brand is seen, is seen. The company is known, is known. The, our vegetables are rated, are rated, okay? Just um, repeat, please. Oh, now, remember, el, el verbo to be, puedes, depende de la oración, va a ser is, va a ser are, Hablando de usted, va a ser am. Yeah. I am considered a nice person by my neighbors. I am. The company is considered. Is, because it's singular. Is. Our products are rated. Use are. Plural. Ya, el verbo to be puede ser, eh, puede variar en el tiempo. Ya, eh, en el presente, pasado, futuro, en eh, plural, singular. Okay, eso puede cambiar. Ya, la estructura es el verbo to be y el past participle. 
Okay. Any question, people, with this? Preguntas? Ahí te hicieron una pregunta. Ahí cuando pone el verbo to be, el verbo era rate. Abajo donde está la flechita. Ahí le cambia a, a rated. Re, sí, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Rated. 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 Mm, yeah. Ok. Rated. Es porque lo hace pasado. Oh. Es, es, es el past participle. Es el pasado participio. Uh -huh. No es el pasado simple. Es el pasado participio. Recuerden que el pasado participio son las terminaciones hago, ido, generado, calificado, percibido, visto, conocido. Okay. Ese es el en, past participio. En este caso que son, se está hablando de varios, por eso le pone are y el ah. verbo también. Si fuera ah. singular, lo deja como está, rate o no. Is right. Is right. Y no le cambia. El, el verbo principal siempre va a ir en past parties. Ah, ok. Is rated. Is rated. Are ah, okay. rated. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. Any other question, people? Okay, very good. What's going on with school? Okay, lesson five, some of the exercises de review de la unit one, todos los pueden hacer. Okay. Lesson one, unit two, lesson one. Now, unit two, lesson one. But first, I'm going to take the second attendance. Later, we are going to continue with the this the session section. Okay. Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Ana Celia Mena. Ana Celia Mena. Ana María Marcela Siu. Present. Okay. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Byron Jose Villanueva. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Eh, Edgar Eduardo García. Present. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Ok. Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Very good.
Unit two, we'll be talking about socializing. That is the, the subject or the topic for unit two. In lesson one, the objective is to be able to exchange information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. Okay, we are going to learn how to exchange information about the companies. Expertise, industrial classification, and where the company operates. We have a couple of some questions here. Do you attend seminars? Number one. Number two, is it easy for you to socialize? at those events, I mean, in seminars? Is, is it easy for you to socialize at seminars? And question three, how do you usually break the ice? That is, make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. Three questions to think about. Do you often attend seminars? Yes or no? I don't attend seminars very often. My case. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Uh, for me, maybe it's not that easy. For me, it's not that easy to socialize. How do you usually, I felt that you, how do you usually break the ice? Yeah, break the ice is make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. How do you usually break the ice? Okay, well, if I have to, I usually ask their name. What is your name? Where do you come from? Where do you work? And that's it. Yeah, I break the ice with those questions. That's me. I want you to discuss a little bit about these questions in your groups for a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to working groups, just five minutes to discuss these questions for a while, okay? Go to your groups, please, and discuss those questions for a moment. Five minutes on to, to discuss.
Ok. Teacher, otros cinco minutos más. <ríe> no, mentira, teacher, está bien. Ok. ¿Cuál es solo para calentar? Now, let's take a... Ya se, ya se topó mi memoria, teacher. <ríe> Let's take a look to this conversation. This conversation takes place at a seminar. So Rick and Jack are in a seminar. Okay, consider that. And then let's see. Let me get the later. Listen, I'm going to record it here already. Um, actually. Here. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. One more time. Listen to the pronunciation and intonation. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I work for I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? What does in do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. We manufacture we cardboard, cardboard, boxes cardboard boxes for packaging, for packaging companies. companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Oh, oh I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I does see. does, does Inex have, have many branches? Many branches. Uh, yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Yes, yes. That. yes it does. Yes, that. We have three we manufacturing, have three manufacturing, manufacturing branches, branches in the country. In the country. And where are the headquarters? Um, and where, and where, where are the headquarters? Are the headquarters? headquarters. They are in Panama. They are in Panama. They are in Panama. Okay. Now, I am Rick and you are Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. Meet nice you to too. Too. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Jack. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We, we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Packing companies. companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes. yes, yes, it does. does. We have we three manufacturing branches, branches, branches in the country. country. Where are the headquarters? They, they, in, are, Panama. they, are, they are in Panama. Panama. Okay, good. Now you are Rick, you begin. One, two, three. My name is Rick. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inez Inc. 
What does what in does do? What does Jack? In do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, oh I see. Oh, so in the have, have many branches. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And, and where, where are the headquarters? Where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Let's see. Any question with the conversation? Look at this. What is the meaning of headquarters? Headquarters. Cuarto cabeza. Okay. <laughs> oh, ¿cómo se? Is Me the place. Que es como la... Uh -huh. La oficina central. La central. Yes. Cuarto. The place where a company or organization has its main offices. Okay. Teacher and cardboard. Cardboard boxes. Cardboard. Anybody knows what it what cardboard is? Uh not teacher. Nobody? Uh, cajas de cartón. Como cajas. No, el cartón. Cartón, pero es... Eh, Como tarjetas, no. No, no, no. Como reciclado. Embalaje no, para embalaje. No, no, no. Cartón de ese grueso, ¿no? Cardboard boxes. O sea, cajas de cartón. Oh, ok. Or packaging companies. Uh -huh. de oh, okay. That is card. Para empaque de compañía. Packaging companies. Compañía de empaque. Sí, como una caja donde viene un televisor, por ejemplo. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Huh? Now, headquarters is the, the main office. Okay. Okay. And branch. A shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Uh, let's talk about the banks. The banks have headquarter. Imagine the headquarter is in San Salvador. So the main office are in San Salvador, but they have branch, they have branches in different cities. Yes, they have branches in different cities. Uh, for example, Banco Agricola, the headquarters are in San Salvador, but we have Banco Agricola in Lourdes, that is a branch. There is Banco Agricola in Santa Ana. That is a branch. Okay. So you see the difference between headquarters and branch? Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, um, so I will give you time to practice the conversation and uh, to complete exercise three. Exercise three says, what two questions would you ask Risk to continue the conversation? You have to create two more questions for this conversation to continue the conversation, okay? And when you uh, have the question, you have to practice the conversation, continuing the conversation with those questions. Is it clear? Clear. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have to create two more questions to continue the conversation between Jack okay, and Rick. 
and practice the expanded conversation with your partner. So I'll give you, because of this, I will give you 15 minutes to practice. Now you are going to be in pairs. Okay, go to your groups, please. Practice the conversation. Create two more questions and continue the conversation.
Quiere entonces eh, empiece usted y, y agregamos las, las dos de abajo. Ya para el final. Ajá. Pero ah, okay. eh, de la entera. Pues ahorita, ahorita, no, ahorita no, lo que hacen eso es lo de RM, lo de reparación y mantenimiento. Mm. Ajá, reparación y mantenimiento, de ahí este, <risa> la gente de, yo estoy en el departamento de, de facilidades. De no, facilidades sí, sí, sí. es lo que me encargo de mantener más que todo el área de mantenimiento de la planta afuera. Darle las facilidades a, a, a la línea de producción. Aire comprimido, agua desmineralizada, verde de agua mineralizada. Y ahí montan, ensamblan algo así las impresoras. ¿o sí, qué, o qué hacen? sí. Ah, no, ahí se hacen en las tabletas electrónicas, digamos, viene, una, viene un lote, digamos, de Singapur. Singapur tiene, manda, digamos, a un cliente lo manda para acá, El Salvador. Viene. Hello. Oh, hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Nice practice. Your Spanish uh, is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, start again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, teacher. See you. Okay, okay, bye. Hablando de ellos. Yo creo que porque dice. ¿Qué es una sucursal o una rama? Ajá. Ajá. Es una rama de la compañía. Va. Hey, si querés, Ajá. practiquémoslo. Ya. Pues, entonces, la otra nos queda que, ¿cómo era lo que dijimos? Este, what other products? What other products does Ajá. your company sell? Ajá. Recycled paper bags. Bags con S.
Okay, welcome back. Let's start with Blanca and Fernando, please. Can I hear your conversation with the expanded questions? Blanca and Fernando, are you ready? Mm, yo sí, no sé si Blanca está por ahí. You ready, Blanca? No, no va a poner la conversación. Ok. Um, you have to continue the conversation with your questions, ok? Ok, go ahead. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, I do. it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? No, no. Problem of the connection. Okay, and where are the headquarters? Uh, they're in Panama. Is one question is, uh, do you often travel to head office in Panama? Sería, como ahí decía, teacher, que vamos a hacer dos preguntas para continuar la yes. the conversation. Uh, solo hicimos las preguntas, pero la respuesta sería como que no, I don't. Y pues de ahí sería la otra pregunta de where other country have approaches. Y sería in, in El Salvador. Ok, ok. Yeah. Good, thank you. Alex and Jocelyn. Turn. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Have you visited the headquarters? Yes, I work there. Where do you work? I work for CIMAI in Santa Ana branch. Hey, very good, thank you. Now please, Rodrigo and Sandra. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for the next Inex Inc. What do is Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture car work boxes for packing company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have to manufacture in branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? That is in Panama. In which other country does he have a branch? Are in El Salvador, Guatemala, and United States. What other products does your company sell? 
Cruz equipo Probax. Teacher. Okay, okay, okay. You, uh, it's okay? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Someone is, is sending it. Uh, okay, very good. Let's continue now with Edgar and Oscar. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm um, Jack. Um, I work for Inexin. What does Inexin do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex how many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Ahí vamos con las de nosotros, las otras. Yo te pregunto primero. Sí. Permíteme que ahorita aquí está. What exactly do they do at the headquarters? Headquarters, the place where a company or organization had its main, its main office. What do the branches of the company do? A job or office representing a large company or organization in a private area. Entiendo, teacher. Sí. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Esa era perfect, la tarea. perfect teacher. <laughs> Tiene que decirlo el teacher, hombre. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. We'll continue with Byron and Johnny. Okay, teacher. I'm Rick. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We we manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does in it have many branches? Yes, it does. And we have a three manufacturing branch in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. And where are the three branches? They are in Guatemala City. Okay, it's all teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. Thank you. Marcela and Miguel. Uh, I'm Rick, my name is Rick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inexin do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, uh, ahora vamos a hacer las preguntas. <laughs> Where do you have the manufacturing branches in El Salvador? A first branch is located in San Salvador, the second in Santa Ana, and the third in San Miguel. What are the sizes of the cardboard boxes? We make a cardboard boxes large, medium, and a small size. Very good. Very good. Thanks, teacher. Now, Rafael, Andrea, let me see, and Ivan. I don't know if Ivan practiced also, but do you want me to put your conversation? Okay, give me a second.
Give me a moment, please. Eh, Rafael, no sé si empieza. Okay, uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. Um, I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture car box car boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. How do you plan to expand into other countries? Yes, we are planning to expand it in Costa Rica. How many employees are working in the manufacturing? Around 100 employees are working there. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Well, just a couple of words. Basically, this one packaging, 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 okay. packaging companies, packaging. And the other is this one, headquarter, quarter, headquarters, headquarters, okay? So be careful with this one. Packaging, headquarters. Packaging, headquarters, cardboard. Edwards, Edwards, a teacher. Cool, oh, quarters. Headquarters. 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 Yes. Thank you. Headquarters. Yeah. Yes, la misma palabra. Okay. Well, we're going to stop here tonight. It's time for the last attendance of the evening, okay? Hey guys, please, I need you to complete the homework from section one. No sé si alguien tiene alguna duda de, de las tareas, de la sección uno. Teacher. Yo Hola. Tengo, yo tengo una pequeña duda, fíjese que este, yo viendo el progreso, de las tareas son cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, ahorita viendo, pero solo me aparece la homework one, one y la dos, tres, cuatro. No, no me aparecen todavía, no sé por qué. Y ya le hice tres veces y no para enviar. Ya se enviaron, pero no, no, no me no, aparece. No, no. Homework. Sí, porque las dos, tres y cuatro son las unidades dos, unidad tres y unidad no, no, cuatro. Pero, ya le digo dónde están. No son las... Cinco, quiero decir, aquí está, no, las cinco de la, de la unidad uno. Son cinco tareas, dice, pero yo ya las envié. Oh, no, sí, es verdad. Esa es mi pequeña duda. Si son las cinco que aparecen en el progreso, pero en realidad son las de la primera unidad, el progreso. El homework. Progreso. Ahí está, homework uno, así es. Al cien. Llegar al cien. A ver, ah, sí, ya lo entendí, ya lo entendí. Ok. En mi curso, disculpa, Michael. Ya entendí. Sorry, teacher. Ok. Any other question, people, with the homeworks? Que terminarla, please. Ya luego, eh, la sección 2 tenemos. Va a, ser, va a ser grupo de tareas, dicho. Grupo. <risa> Ustedes están juntos ahí, reúnanse. Virtualmente. 
mapenzi. Ya, y el la, examen. No. Las que no haya, la hayan terminado se pueden reunir en grupos y se dan copia. <ríe> ok, people. Vamos con la última asistencia de hoy. Entonces, Alex Gerardo Peña. Present. Ana Celia Mena. Ana María Marcela. Siu. Present. Okay. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Thank you. Byron José Villanueva. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. You. Edgar Eduardo García. Present. Thank you. Eh, Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present teacher. Johnny okay. Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Good. Okay. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Thank you, and Sandra Yanira Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, people, that's all for today. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good See night. Ya. Good night. Good night, everybody. Stay with Blanca. Okay, Blanca. ¿Alguna duda? ¿Algo que quiera que hablemos? ¿Alguna pregunta? Mm, solo tenía duda de la voz pasiva, cómo, cómo, eh, cómo se forma. Mm, algo entendí de lo último que explicó relacionado a que de la el pasado participio, pero okay. lo que es en sí el pasado participio no mucho lo entiendo. Ok. Ahorita. La voz pasiva es donde el es donde el énfasis está más que todo en la acción en quién hace la acción. Por eso dice acá use the passive voice to emphasize that the actions are more important than the doers or the subjects. Usar la voz pasiva para enfatizar que las acciones son más importantes que los sujetos o que quien hace las acciones. ¿No? Eh, por ejemplo, si yo digo Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Rex es reconocida como una compañía prestigiosa. ¿Quién reconoce a Rex? ¿Lo menciona en la frase? No. No se menciona. ¿Verdad? Porque el énfasis no es quién hace esa acción de reconocer, sino la acción misma. Rex es reconocido. ¿Verdad? 
Recuerde que el sujeto es el que hace la acción en una oración. Aquí el sujeto no es Rex. Porque Rex es, no es la que hace la acción de reconocer. ¿Ya? Este no es el sujeto de esta oración. El sujeto de esta oración sería las personas que reconocen Rex. Pero eso no es lo importante la frase, sino la acción en sí. Entonces se usa la voz pasiva cuando no lo que importa es la acción y no quien la hace, se usa la voz pasiva. ¿Y cómo se forma la voz pasiva? Bueno, con el verbo to be, más el pasado participio de los verbos. El pasado participio de los verbos es la forma verbal donde los verbos terminan en ado, en ido, en español. Comido. El pasado participio de comer es comido. De, eh, leer es leído. De visitar, visitado. ¿Ok? Entonces en inglés el pasado participio es eh, como parecido al pasado. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, recognize, recognized. Rate, rated. Ese es el pasado participio. Eso lo puede encontrar en una lista de verbos. En una lista de verbos está el verbo en presente, el verbo en pasado y el pasado participio. Eh, por eso, para formar una oración en Passive Voice, usamos el verbo to be. Más el pasado participio. ¿Eh? Our company is considered. La compañía es considerada the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Mejor fabricante de escoba en el mundo. Our products are to be rated as the most popular in the United States. Los productos son calificados, clasificados como los cinco, como de los cinco más populares. Eso es. No. Eh, acá tenemos este ejemplo. Bien. The new printer is, vamos a usar el verbo buy, pero el verbo buy en pasado participio. ¿Qué sería en este caso? Bought. The new printer is bought by the company. Aquí, 
por el maestro, que cuando queremos mencionar quién hace la acción, podemos usarlo, hacerlo mediante una frase al fin. El nuevo impresor es comprado por la compañía. Uh -huh. Pero es esta estructura. Es comprado. Es reparado. Son operadas. Es limpiada. Es abierta. Are, son entrenados. Soy evaluado. Eso es el, la voz pasiva. Eso lleva el verbo to be y el pasado participio. Sí. Un poco complicado, pero poco a poco se va, se va a ir viendo. Se va a ir adaptando al, al idioma. Pero igual las, las al mismo tipo de expresiones usamos en español. Uh -huh. Sí, hoy sí me quedó claro. Ok. Sería el tiempo entonces, Blanca. ¿Ya? Sí, gracias. Bueno. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.